Hi and welcome to Love Doing Yoga on this Friday evening. Hope you've had a lovely week and got an opportunity to get out in this lovely weather. Still blue skies out of my window so it's lovely to see and the weekend is looking pretty promising. Um, so as always throughout the practice listen to your body and only do what feels right for you today. And don't forget to let us know if you've completed this practice. Give us a thumbs up or whatever so uh, we can add you to our role of honour if you complete four practices in the month of June. So let us begin our practice today lying down. Make yourself comfortable on your mat. Closing your eyes. Giving yourself permission to slow down. Let go of your day and everything that's going on in your world. Just bringing yourself to your mat. Finding a stillness here. Let your attention go to your breath as you inhale through your nose into your belly, pause and then exhaling through your nose. Extending that exhale. And taking three more breaths here. And on your next inhale, raise your arms up over your head to the floor behind you. And exhale them back down by your sides. And again, inhaling, raise them up and behind and exhale down by your sides. One more time. And then bending your knees, lifting the feet up off the mat. Let's just begin to cycle with those legs. Waking them up, getting them moving. Flexing your feet as your legs move. And keeping them going for 10, 9, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hugging those knees into the chest. Take a little bit of movement here to massage out the back. Then letting the feet come down onto the mat. Let's just cross that right leg over the left. Lifting up 
the left leg and holding on to the back of your left thigh if you like, keeping both feet flexed, gently drawing that left leg in towards your body, feeling the stretch on that right leg and glute. And taking two more breaths here. And then when you're ready, letting that left leg come down, let's just swap it over. So you're crossing your left leg over the right, lifting up that right leg, keeping the knee bent, holding on to the back of the thigh. And both feet flexed, encouraging that right upper leg to come a little closer to you. Feeling the stretch and then going to the breath to help you. Feel like that exhale is going all the way into the muscles and tendons of that left leg, that left glute and upper leg. And then when you're ready, letting that right leg come down and then the left, let's just roll over onto your side, coming up to sit if you like to sit on a block, do. Crossing the legs to sit in easy pose, sitting up nice and tall, equal weight on both seat bones, lengthening through the spine Soften the shoulders, soften the muscles, the face and jaw. And then let's bring the arms out into a T. Keeping those shoulders soft. Feeling the chest open the spine long, three more breaths here. And then raising the arms up over the head, clasping those hands together. Let's take a bend to the left, allowing that right side of the body to stretch out. Keeping the chest looking upwards so the shoulders stay square. One more breath on this side. And coming back to centre, let's just take that over to the other side. Again, feeling that left side just begin to open out. And one more breath here. Back to the centre, releasing the hands down, let's make our way to our tabletop.
and having those shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, feet straight out behind you. Nice active body here, engaging the core, feeling strong. And stretch that left or right leg straight out behind you at hip height, flexing the foot so the toes are pointing down to the floor and stretching the left arm out. Inhale here. And then draw everything in as you exhale, hand, knee, all coming to the nose. Stretching it out. Drawing it in as you exhale. Once more. And bringing it down onto the mat. Let's take that to the other side. So left leg stretches out and up at hip height. Right arm stretched out. Taking your inhale here. And then drawing everything in for your exhale. And out for the inhale. Once more. And bringing it down onto the mat. Good. And from here, let's curl those toes, push the hips back to the heels, lifting the knees, and make your way up into your downward dog, pedaling those legs as you go, just giving them a chance to work their way into the stretch. And when you're ready, coming to your point of stillness, wherever that is. Pushing those hips back, lengthening through the spine, pressing away from the mat with your hands, keeping those shoulders just away from the ears. Let's take three breaths here, focusing on the breath, allowing the exhale to encourage those leg muscles to stretch out. And then stretch that right leg out behind you. And let's step it through. As you step it through, just fold over this front leg. So you still have both hands on the ground. The back foot, the left foot is still on the, connected to the mat. The right leg, stretch out in front, see can you open it out, just encouraging it to stretch. Taking two more breaths here with each breath, just seeing can you get a little deeper into the fold. Just allowing the exhale to help you deepen.
and then when you're ready step that right leg back back into your downward dog three breaths here Again, really working with the breath in this practice. So each exhale, just feel the body deepen into your stretch. Let that breath really help the muscles to elongate. And then stretching that left leg out behind you, stepping it through. Again, we're going to go forward fold over this left leg. And just check and see where you are kind of naturally, where you naturally go into your forward fold. And then see, can you either, depending if your knee is very bent, can you begin to just open it out a little bit or if you feel you're quite far away from the leg can you get a little bit deeper so work on your own forward fold with each breath just seeing if you can challenge yourself to get an extra millimeter One more breath here. And once again, stepping that left leg back, back into your downward dog. One more breath here. And then let's just walk the feet up to meet the hands at the top of the mat. Feet hip width apart, bend the knees, coming all the way up to stand. Good, from here, checking in with your own alignment, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, length through the spine, engaging the core, keeping the shoulders soft, the jaw soft. Let's draw the arms up, palms together, raise the gaze and take a breath. And as we exhale, let's Swan dive down into a forward fold. Let the arms come out to the side, coming all the way down. Bend the knees as you inhale and come all the way up again. Palms together, raise the gaze. And as you exhale, sweeping all the way down. Two more times. Inhale to come up. And exhale to come down. Last time. If you're in forward fold, stay here. Again, just notice your own form within your forward fold. So maybe your knees are bent. Um, maybe your body is quite far away from your thighs. Wherever you are in it. Again, let's take three breaths, really focusing on that exhale to really help deepen the stretch, deepen the fold.
and then just check and see have you got a little tiny bit deeper hopefully you have and congratulations if you have bend the knees coming all the way up palms together raise the gaze take a breath sweeping the arms out to the side deep into a forward fold coming down with both hands on the mat step the right leg back folding over the front leg the front left leg step the right foot forward and the left leg back folding over that right leg step the left leg back taking a breath here in your forward fold stepping both feet back into downward dog for a breath coming down into your tabletop taking a breath here and pushing back into a child's pose with your arms out long in front of you one more breath here And then when you're ready, making your way down to lie on your mat. And as you lie here, let your feet flop out to the side. Let the palms face up to the ceiling. Soften the body after those really deep stretches and just let go. Letting go your feet and your legs. Letting go your glutes and pelvis. Letting go the whole back of your body and shoulder blades. The front of your body, chest and shoulders. Letting go your armpits, arms and hands. Letting go the back of the head, the crown of your head, your face, jaw and chin. The whole of your body, just let it go. And take a little moment of appreciation and gratitude for the power of your breath and your ability to use your breath to help you really stretch out your body. And 
then let your attention go to your breath. As you inhale through your nose, into your belly, pause, and then exhale. Observing your breath and keeping your focus on it for a few minutes. 